Hey, so this is my this was my outfit with a towel, and my cock might be showing a little bit, I suppose. And I had my my water filter here, John's, and I went I went and I ran up the steps with my little piggy water filter, and I ran up the steps of the building. It's like 27 flights to the top, as some exercise. But I ran into one of the cleaning ladies. She was actually pretty hot and young, and John's pissing himself because she just, he thinks it's funny. She's yeah, like, like, like how does how is this gay? I'm just a dude. Yeah, right, I do have this sparkly thing in my hair, to be fair. That's a little bit. Yeah, I don't that, understand. First of all, where's the rest of the outfit? Where, you had this, this thing, you had your little shoes And on, a towel. The towel And a towel, on, yeah. And you're going up and down the steps in a, like, a maniac. <laughs> and then you run into a girl who's a clean late girl who's really hot. And then you start, you start flirting with her. Come on, dude, look. With this. With this. On <laughs> and you start flirting with I her. Wasn't flirting. I just said, I just said, hola. That's and you say, and you, he she interprets did. it as she was really shy. That's she was what shy. Yeah. And she just looked down. And it was, away. dude. She thought Your two things. Works People are gonna be uh, really upset. Uh, at least I can hold it steady. Okay. Anyway, but uh, yeah. I had a great workout. I, I ran up. This, it's really tough. I went up all the steps, then I did crawls on the roof, then I went for a swim. Yeah. Then I was doing some neck exercises. Oh, nice. Dude, I didn't do my neck exercises for like maybe five days. I've just been lazy, and it's so tense. Which exercise? It hurts. Where you any of it. Any, turtle, all turtle? of it. Dude, all yeah. of it hurts. I can't yeah. do any of it. So it's like, like I'm really tense. I need to keep doing that shit. Yeah, it's a really big deal. It's I mean, unbelievable. I mean, you don't stretch for a day or two. You just go back to the... We do. I think yeah. there's normal people up there who are fine. They never stretch at all. They're like, I don't know what you're talking about. People might need more magnesium in our diet. I have magnesium. I even like, have magnesium spray. That's supposed to loosen, all, loosen it all I up. Keep, I yeah. can spray you with some magnesium. I spray me. Anyways, I don't yeah. think I look gay. I think I look fine. But, um, but well, I'm I thought, had a good laugh. Yeah, so it was that's very all that's funny. important. Because it's like we're living in our little bubble. I see the guy all the time. I know him now. Uh, he's just like, hey, yeah, here he is. I mean, sometimes he's walking down the street for... All, without a shirt on, it's big hairy thing, some underwear from 1995, bunched up like this, walking around down it. And to me, it's normal. <laughs> but I forget. I just want to constantly look at this, this bear man pig walking down the street. Uh, my official title with my wife is Man Bear Pig, but that's, bear. that's for another episode. Yeah. All right. So that's that. So I'm leaving here, this apartment, the day after tomorrow. And I'm going to go stay with Kurt in a crackhead apartment. And John here, we could he could have stayed in town and we could have got a little something, but no, he wants to go chase girls in Mexico City. I just want to go see another part of the world. Oh, guys always got me chasing girls. Uh -huh. yeah. How many girls but, have you mashed in on Tinder on Mexico listen, City? Listen, I don't care about Tinder. <laughs> I, uh, why do I always air in my laundry, you know what I mean? Uh, 300 so, matches is gone. Listen, uh, why are you leaving me, I'm John? going to Mexico City because I want to see another, you know, I'm in Mexico and I probably never come back here again, so I just want to see it. I mean, maybe I'll come back, I don't know. You know, and Acapulco is nice. I mean, it's nice. This is an amazing place. It's nice at night. It's hot as fuck during the day. You know, I, I, you know. He's leaving me. I love the guy. We have, we're very me. productive. It's very good to be around. We had a lot of fun today, right? We had the comedy, did an acting deal, uh, made some videos. We're making a really, really funny. I'll share this with the guys. This is entertaining. So I'm making a really funny. <laughs> it makes me laugh just thinking about it because it's so funny. Yeah. Uh, we're making a really funny video. I had this idea a while ago. Basically, I got a bunch of funny ideas I want to do with, uh, with Isabel and whoever else. But it's basically a commercial for, for poop. So it's basically <laughs> like a, it's, a, it's yeah. called the Poop Motivational Soundtrack. So if you're having difficulty taking a shit, um, you play this and it helps you, you know, motivates you to shit. So I'm not gonna say any more than that, but it's really funny. And John here, he did a little testimonial. So we're gonna have some joke testimonials at the end. And he did a really funny performance where he's like, I used to be a crackhead and my whole life was stuff and the shit and it was because I couldn't poo and then I got this product and I just started shitting all over the place and it cleared me up and now I'm a multimillionaire and life is great and I all owe it to the poop motivational soundtrack. Thanks. And um, it's really funny. John's a great actor. Thank you. John's a great actor. He, so it was, it was funny as fuck. Um, it would actually be really <laughs> funny to edit a little piece of that into, into this yeah, vlog, but I think I'm too lazy to do that. I'm definitely um, too lazy. But yeah, no, that, that, it, it was it was really good. And you also did a little uh, audition for for a little role. Yeah, an audition. You know, you're not really supposed to talk about it, but uh, knock on wood for a Fox TV show, so that could be interesting. Let's right? assume it'll lead nowhere, but you never know. Yeah, well, you know what was fun you about it is, is that I, it's not really uh, I don't really care anymore. But yet I got that audition, and yet and I did it. And it was fun, and it really uh, you know it taps into a whole other talent. Uh, it got him. Here's what I saw today. I saw John. Well, John, I think you guys know John pretty well. 
because I've been, you know, whoring him out for years. But John, uh, John, like myself, he studied acting for a very long time, very seriously, and I did comedy very seriously for a long time. If you can yeah. do comedy seriously, yeah. and uh, and it's really fascinating because I saw John do, get in this thing and in the role and stuff, and he came out and he was all fired up. He's like, I'm gonna move to LA. I'm gonna act more. Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. And, and it's like, and it just shows you when you when you do something you're really passionate about, it really gets you going. Yeah, right, sure. away. right and, away. And and and, yeah. and it's just you know for both of us individually comedy and acting it's it's one of our passions we're doing this you know something else with our life right now but it's always there it's like a little fire that's always burning yeah. and you tap into it it gets you going right like when i write something funny or i go and i do stand up once in a while it really i'm just like fuck yeah stand up is awesome i love this shit it really gets me going so whenever something excites you like that that's a really good clue there yeah. as to what you're passionate about well, so it just you know, it also like woke me up to all of this other stuff like it got like the uh, the inertia uh, like just started moving me forward in every year you just tap into any kind of passion like that and all of a sudden it starts checking the balances on every like every other yeah. thing starts like so much easier to do all of a sudden because you have this fire brewing in you again and now you just like you know this other force behind you yeah and that's the thing like you have to have at least one passion because even if even if like your job isn't your passion as long as you have a passion you can take that fire and it'll drive you to fix other areas of your life and to, to shift your life so that you can do your passion more but if you have nothing you're just like going through life and you're like i don't really like anything that's dangerous because you're just wasting life see so you gotta if you that's that's the number one thing for a man is to figure out what your passion is figure out what your purpose is and let that force drive you um i've got a couple but uh, I'm always discovering more. There's always, like more, as I get older, there's yeah. more and more things. I'm like, fuck yeah, that's awesome, yeah. <laughs> you know. So as long as you got one, and, and, and it's beautiful. So anyway, so we'll have one more day with John tomorrow, and then he's off, and I'll be sad. But I'll have lots of wacky adventures with my friend Kurt, who's fucking bonkers, but he's a lot of fun. So it should be it should be fun. So uh, love you guys, and uh, hey, I'm just doing this uh, mainly to entertain myself, but also to entertain you guys. So please leave comments and talk to me, because you know there's only a hundred people who fucking click on this freaking second channel so you might as well take advantage of that and uh, leave me some comments all right say bye guys bye love bye, peace joy bye